Hello people, Mr. Atrophy here. The responses I've been seeing on the similar 9-11 videos where telling people to get over it, stop spending money on killing people, that we need to refocus our economy on America. That's not un-American. That's not disrespecting the people that died 9-11. I would think that disrespecting the people on 9-11 would be propping their corpses up, pointing to them, and telling people that we need to spend more money to avenge these people. The man that we've been told is most responsible for this is Bin Laden. He's dead. But he's still winning. It's been found on his computers. If I can find the source, I'll, 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 I'll put it down there. That he was saying the eventual outcome that he would like to see from the 9-11 attacks is civil unrest, the rights of Americans taken away, economic collapse, and lots of money spent on war. And he pretty much got what he wanted. We passed up 9-11 and people are rehashing everything, telling people that more people need to die in the Mideast. We need to spend more money. We need to keep attacking the Middle East so 9-11 doesn't happen again. But I don't fucking get it. If we keep killing people, it's just going to make more terrorists. 100,000 people or more have died in the Middle East, and every one of those people is going to be used as a martyr against us. People that had nothing to do with it, people that had no ill will towards America, now hate our fucking guts because we've killed so many people in these countries. It's not making us safer. It's not making anything better. The outrage I'm seeing is at the people taking the logical course, not the emotional course. Grieving should be over with. There's no such thing as revenge in this case because the people that did it are dead. How many people have to die? How much money has to be flushed down the toilet in wars? before, as a culture, we finally say, that's enough. We need to stop killing. When are people going to start marching on Washington, telling Congress to pull funding? Though, the way I understand government works, there's a number of ways all of these military actions can be stopped. One of which, the easiest, would be for the president to stop them. The second and a bit harder one would be for the Ways and Means Committee to start dropping the funding for the wars. One of the reasons that George Bush Sr. couldn't go after Saddam anymore is Congress pulled the funding for that assault. So they could no longer afford to keep going. They had to turn back, withdraw the troops and equipment and everything. third one, the hardest one, is for the people in the military to stop fighting. Which everybody is so brainwashed, they're not going to stop that. And there's a concerted effort in the military to turn us into a holy war. And if you don't believe it, look at there's a number of lawsuits going on about the evangelical propaganda that soldiers are being forced into. Soldiers have been court-martialed for disobeying orders to go to evangelical concerts.
28 million dollars was recently spent to build a church on a base while at another base an Islamic American was denied the ability to go to a mosque off base because of security concerns so I hope people start to wise up I hope Americans start realizing that we can't continue this war of oppression in the Middle East we as a culture need to stop it other than marching into DC like Stalin and his friends did and taking over Congress peacefully with the powers the Constitution gave us to take back the government I don't know what else to do and before somebody tells me that it's unpatriotic read up on Thomas Jefferson the man who wrote most of this shit he was for the people taking back the government at some point and actually said revolution can be the ultimate patriotism love of one's country does not necessitate love of one's government I am patriotic I am loyal to America I am not loyal to a government or a political group that will push religious beliefs on people kill people that are against those religious beliefs and oppress a fair majority of Americans thank you have a nice day